Hey, welcome back! Let's build stuff! I know, so weird, right? So let's build this set. This is one of the new Lego Disney princess sets. <laughs> this one has got uh, Jasmine and Mulan shoved together because they're besties now. Lego's doing this quite a bit at the moment with the Disney princesses, just squashing them together into a single set, which is, I, I mean, kind of, it's good if you want multiple princesses all in one set. So this one is 176 pieces. It's $60 here in Australia, $40 in the US. Google what it's going to be close to you. But the reason that this is, well, apart from the mouse tax, the reason it's so expensive is because it comes with animals. We have got Khan and we've got Raja, both brand new, absolutely brand new for this set. So this is very exciting. Look at the little stripes. Okay, all right, so we've got Ooh, the stickers for the mat and we've got two different books a tiny one for Mulan and a decent sized one for Jasmine so all right let's have a look at both of the mini dolls first and their respective animals so Mulan has got a brand new leg piece with a new printing hard to see the uh it's hard to see the little flowers on the bottom but they're there so brand new leg piece uh and her torso is also a new print it's not printed very well on the front there there seem to be scratches across the front so that's a bit of a shame <gasps> new face print too it's just like a slight variation on the old one look at the printing going all the way around the back for this torso it's gorgeous so just so much detailing is going into the mini dolls now it's very very exciting okay all right so Mulan comes with her sword uh, of course so sorted Mulan she's ready to go let's <laughs> just just don't point it at us which would be really nice and she comes not just with Khan but she comes with Kriki as well which we've already seen in previous sets however this time in a little pearlescent uh tubey thing so rather than the see-through one he's <laughs> he's got some pearl there too I suppose to indicate some shine like the light the lantern carry thing is shining which seems a bit silly actually now I think about it all right and Khan wow ah, finally we see Khan in Lego so beautiful he's got the cropped mane it's rubbery uh, the tail's rubbery so this is a new horse mold but and they all have different mane styles so they can have different mane styles it's obviously a perk of the new mold okay so Khan has got a very shiny black middle at the moment, but he has got the saddle in red, which is a brand new color for the saddle. Looks absolutely striking. I mean, he looks like a battle horse. Can I put Cricky on the back there? I cannot. I just need another stud, I think, to be able to lift it a little bit higher. And then we could carry Cricky on the back of Khan. Isn't he magnificent? Gosh, I love this. Oh, and we also get a token carrot for Khan. <laughs> Be good, and you can have the carrot. So this is Mulan's posse. Oh, come on, her hair is popping off. Okay, so Mulan's friends. We still don't see Mushu, but, you know, maybe one day. Okay, and Jasmine, who is not in this bag, but we've got her out anyway. She's got the plain pants we've seen before, a new printed torso, which is a similar print to what we have seen before but it goes all the way around the back how beautiful is that it's a little bit dodgy underneath the arms but <laughs> do people really go peering under the arms let's hope not don't peer under other people's arms it's offensive is it okay and her head uh face print is her lips are a little bit askew that looks like the printing's a little bit off there but yeah, okay, all right. And her hairpiece, which we have seen before. So she looks gorgeous. She's in a plainer version of her outfit than we've seen recently, but it's so detailed. And she has got Raja, which is a tiger mold. Got a cute little derpy face, but I mean, Raja is a cartoon tiger, so of course he's not going to look terribly realistic. He's so good. Can we put a saddle on him? Oh my goodness, we can saddle the big cat. <laughs> Jasmine can ride the big cat. Oh, I love this. I mean, you really shouldn't ride big cats, but still, <laughs> well, well, we can if we want to, but we shouldn't, but we can. And he's got printed tiger stripes for his, for the middle of his torso for that, uh, rather than just a plain orange slope and a hole in the top of his head. So he could have one of those little fancy turban toppery things, which would be really cool, which he does wear at some stage. Yeah. Okay. All right. So very very nice now we're gonna start with Mulan's little habitat scene whatever you call it vignette uh, facade so many describing words which probably don't quite describe it this is a new coin piece which I believe comes with the CMF the minifigure series the latest one with the troubadour so it's like an old-fashioned style of coin with a crown on it we've got a red bucket and a bowl and 
little is this like a, it's not like a shrine because it's got a well maybe it is maybe you leave an offering at the shrine i don't know oh this black bar piece which is new in this color so useful and this is going on there we need a matching one for the other side so this is the the rooftop a little roof topper and it goes oh yeah like that. <laughs> so there we go that was pretty obvious but it took me a second and pink oh bright pink foliage this is oh exclusive to this set currently as is this little there are so many new colors for things in this so the brown branch bit brown branch bit is that right which is like a dragon tail ender the end of a dragon tail is now in brown oh my goodness so we got chopsticks the new chopstick piece for 2022 and nothing in the bowl i would have hoped we could have had some i don't know rice or something in the bowl so it's a teeny tiny shop i think i like it it's cute i don't remember the mulan story enough to see where it fits in but it's really cute so another one of those little black bar pieces another one of the new coin pieces another chopstick another sword another bowl so many extra good pieces we're up to bag number two which is jasmine's bag but i just had a thought you know how antonio in encanto rides his jaguar imagine if we had a jaguar oh he can't really ride it imagine if we put maybe maybe he could ride it with a saddle no he doesn't oh, the micro doll doesn't fit in the saddle it does fit on the back of the saddle oh okay it was just a thought but oh maybe we're going to see yeah antonio's jaguar in the future that would be amazing because Encanto is doing is a raging success. Okay, uh, the flying carpet has got a sticker for both sides. Very nice. We've already seen a flying carpet before in this style with a nice curved panel, which is really, really cool. It looks really, really, yeah, it is really effective. So tassels hanging off the ends. Uh, four of them this one's here but what's a little bit different this time to previous versions is that there's actually a bit to hold on to so that your passenger doesn't go flying off so she can actually just hold on to those little bar that looks a bit wrong though so she's that doesn't seem I mean she's there she's nice and secure oh okay it needs to be on the other side so on the upward rounded bit that looks so good so look at that. Now she's safe and secure and looks good. You know, all of the things we want to be in life. Safe, secure and looking good. They're looking good doesn't really matter, but you know, sometimes feels nice. Okay, her little castle is going to be on this orange base. It's got a lovely contour. Gold scroll pieces to hold up tables and chairs and stuff, I think. Yeah, we've got little benchy kind of things going on. Half round walls on either side. A couple of goblets. So one for Milan, one for Jasmine. I just love the fact that they're both going to be hanging out here it's really cute <laughs> somehow it works kind of even though they're entirely different cultures and continents so I won't think about it too hard oh actually they're probably in completely different eras like time periods as well <laughs> Anywho, it's fantasy and make-believe. Let's just continue building. So this tiled piece, the rounded tiled gold piece is new in gold. Got some plenty things going on either side of the entryway. I don't know why I think I can put that in in situ. I just <laughs> struggled on the other side, but you know, I persisted. A croissant, which is once again culturally weird for either of them. But anyway, at least they got something to eat. There's no rice at the marketplace. <laughs> they can have to eat the croissant with the chopsticks okay I need to stop now we got a crate in the corner down the bottom a uh, nice big balcony where all the action happens up on the second level and of course we need the lamp because it's so very important to Jasmine's story and these gold hearts up here so we have a nice little oh this is new in this color this uh, reddish brown wedge piece Oh, and on either side of the doorway at the top are some flames, like little torches, which is perfect. Dome going on the top. And now, look at that, you can have Raja sitting in there. And rounded pillow pieces, which I have not seen before, but they have existed for a while. They look really, really cool. Those big rounded tan pillow pieces. The gold bits on top of them are also new in this color. And I wish there was a way that we could secure the carpet off the balcony. I reckon a little hook, a clip might do that. I'll have to see. And a couple of gems, some, well, more than a couple, a few gems, three gems finishing off the roof line. And now we just need something to put up in that balcony area, which is a couch, which is actually in Mulan's colors, in the pink and the blue. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? So this is being installed into Jasmine's 
castle, but it's in Mulan's colours. <laughs> it's lovely. All right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's not very safe. We'll put her up here on the balcony. All right. So we also have got uh, Jafar's snake wand scepter staffy thing. And this is going to be so useful in brown, this big elephant dinosaur tail piece. But look at it making the best cartoon palm tree ever. And it goes here on this round bit, on the round plate. How perfect is that palm tree? It's so simple. So effective. Oh, it's so cartoony and right. Now, we've got an extra staff, a snake staff, an extra red. Oh, the red technique pin. That's new too. Okay. Okay. All right. We're done. Oh, except there's this little jumper stud here, which is apparently, according to the pictures, for storing Cricky on. And we can put the carrot in, <laughs> in the crate. And then, they, yeah, they can just store all their stuff in here and take the couch out when they want it. Oh, all right. So we do have two very separate themed builds, but they can also be integrated into each other. I <laughs> love the fact that you can put the saddle on the tiger. <laughs> that's probably really wrong, but that's my favorite feature out of this whole thing. But anyway, all right. Pretty great set, I think, with two princesses and two big animals, brand new big animals. That's exciting. All right, I can't wait to see what else we're going to be getting from the Disney Princess line because this is an interesting direction they're going in. All right, let me know in the comments what you think of the set. Subscribe if you haven't already done so and check back in or check out some of my other videos. There are a lot of them. There's plenty of stuff to keep you up all night and forget to sleep. Okay, see you soon. Bye.